sports. So it should go without saying that water safety is a necessity in the Cayman Islands, where obviously we're surrounded by water. It's an idea reinforced by several drownings over the last three years. Now, there are plenty of places that offer swim lessons in Georgetown, but maybe not so many that are offered outside of it. But one local swim coach is changing that. It's an absolute necessity. Swim lessons offered in Frank Sound. <laughs> Children, many of them from the Eastern Districts, diving in and moving toward learning a skill that could one day save their lives, all while staying close to home. It's huge for the other side. <laughs> Not that Kylie Freeland is taking it all that seriously. I like the swimming with Coach Marie. Coach Marie is Marie Shepard. She's the owner of Treasure Island Swim School, and she and her staff are offering swim lessons at Clifton Hunter, the first large-scale swim lessons offered in a 25-meter pool in the Eastern Districts. It is such a fantastic facility to be able to have open it for all the local children here. She hopes by bringing lessons to the Eastern Districts, more parents will jump at the opportunity to enroll children in lessons closer to home. At Georgetown, they can all the, lo the local schools there can go and use the Lions Pool, um, but the local schools here haven't got any other facility other than here, so um, great news that Clifton Hunter are now allowing the primary school children to come here and use the facility. Kylie's mother, Natasha, already sees the difference. Definitely, it's um, having bringing her to this facility for the first time. I've actually seen quite a few parents who I've never seen at the Treasure Island location. So definitely right there today, I've like seen quite an increase in kids coming out. So it's, it's definitely a good thing. Teaching more kids the basics of floating, stroking, and kicking is a priority for new swimming technical director, Bailey Weathers. That's our first goal is that every child is, is water safe and learns to swim and is comfortable. So these children learned that water safety is nothing to toy around with. Both me and my husband thought that it was very, very important for her to come out and learn how to swim and not only just to be able to swim but to, to know the techniques and, and the responsibility behind swimming. Shepard hopes her lessons open those opportunities for children who live outside of town. Now there are several programs designed to teach children how to swim. For more information on which program may be best for you and your child, you can visit the Cayman Islands Amateur Swimming Association website. That's ciesa.ky.